It seems that Taylor Swift's world domination is well underway as she takes over one of the least expected realms of pop culture, the American National Football League, NFL. Swift seems to be the name on every announcer, commentator, and talk show host's lips as they scramble to learn her discography in hopes of sneaking in a cheeky reference when talking about Kansas City Chiefs tight end. Travis Kelsey. Rumors have been circulating for a month or two now that the two have been seeing each other, but neither Swift or Kelsey have confirmed the speculation. More interestingly though, neither have actually denied the speculation and Kelsey almost seems to be playing into the rumors, adding even more fuel to the fire. With no solid evidence, it's impossible to confirm or deny if the couple really are a couple. What we can do though, in the name of public service, is compile a detailed and comprehensive list of all the evidence for and against the theory. So, take a look below and decide for yourself if you believe that Travlor rumors are true. Travis Kelsey is a household name in the US, but us Aussies might not know as much about the NFL superstar. So, here's everything you need to know about Taylor Swift's rumored bow. Kelsey is a professional NFL player in the U.S., and could definitely be considered as one of the league's most eligible bachelors. Born October 5, 1989, making him the same age as Swift, in Westlake, Ohio, he played college football for University of Cincinnati and was a third-round draft pick in the 2013 NFL Draft. Currently, Kelsey is a tight end for the Kansas City Chiefs and holds multiple records within the league. While the position of tight end might not mean much to us Aussies, the rough translation would be a very tall and incredibly athletic hunk of a man. Kelsey is 6 feet 5 inches with a net worth of about $20 million, the important stuff. The 33-year-old has won two Super Bowls, including this year where he faced off against older brother and close friend, Jason Kelsey who plays for the Philadelphia Eagles. At her Philadelphia concert earlier this year, Swift actually took the opportunity to clarify the confusion surrounding the lyric in Gold Rush that refers to an Eagles t-shirt. I don't know how large the debate was, but I did see the debate, she said. I have a lyric that says, with my Eagles t-shirt hanging from the door. I saw some people wondering if it was the band The Eagles or the team The Eagles, and I love the band The Eagles, but guys, come on. I'm from Philly. Of course it's the team. Kelsey family dinners might be a little bit awkward. Despite the two brothers' NFL fame, there is a third Kelsey that is known to steal the spotlight. Donna Kelsey, aka, Mama Kelsey, seems to be a fan favorite, making a splash in the headlines with her iconic Super Bowl outfit this year. Some, Travlor, fans have even gotten a bit ahead of themselves, speculating around the adorable friendship that could be blossoming between Mama Kelsey and Mama Swift. Finally, we've now made it to possibly the most entertaining piece of information on Mr. Kelsey. The superstar athlete had his very own dating show back in 2016. Yes, you read that right. His very own dating show titled, Catching Kelsey, which was described by Rolling Stone as having an awkward, undeniable charm. The premise of the Bachelor-esque reality show was that he would date 50 women, one from each American state, in hopes of finding his soulmate, a seemingly foolproof plan. Unfortunately for Kelsey, it didn't work out too well. At the end of the show, he chose to pursue a relationship with contestant Maya Benberry but the couple broke up just a few months later. Earlier this year on the Pivot podcast, Kelsey said that he doesn't necessarily regret doing the show, but summed up his experience as extremely awkward. He confessed that he originally turned down the offer multiple times before eventually accepting due to financial reasons after he blew through his first few NFL paychecks very quickly. Kelsey's previous dating history also includes on-air sports reporter Kayla Nicole who he dated on and off for five years. Among everything else, Kelsey is also known for his impeccable fashion sense, adorable relationship with his nieces, and confident dance moves. He once even said, I wouldn't even say I'm really good at dancing. I'd say I'm not shy to move. July 7, Travis Kelsey goes to the Eras Tour in Kansas City. Kelsey attended the Eras Tour at his team's home stadium on July 7. His appearance sent some Kansas City Chiefs fans at the concert into a frenzy, but aside from that, not much was thought of it at the time. July 26, Kelsey reveals the truth behind his Eras Tour. Attendance This is where the rumor mill began to spin. On July 26, Kelsey went on his podcast New Heights that he co-hosts with his brother Jason, and shared the details behind what really went down at the Eras Tour. I was disappointed she doesn't talk before or after her shows, Travis said. He told his brother he was, a little butthurt, he didn't get to give Swift one of the friendship bracelets he made for her, explaining to Jason that friendship bracelets are a huge part of Swift's tour. Here's where it gets really interesting. Kelsey then told his brother he had made a bracelet to give to Swift with his number on it. Your number is in 87, Kelsey's jersey number, or your phone number? Jason asked. Travis then replied with a smirk, you know which one. Jason also provided, 
A possible explanation as to why the international pop star didn't take the time to meet Kelsey, saying, she probably just hasn't gotten over the Super Bowl yet, she's a big Eagles fan. July 29th Swift sings Stay, Stay, Stay is one of her surprise songs some eagle-eyed fans noted that at her show following the release of Kelsey's podcast, Swift chose to sing Stay, Stay, Stay is one of her surprise songs, a song that directly references a football helmet. Now if this were anyone else aside from Swift, you could call this one a bit of a reach, however, the pop star is known for providing her fans with sneaky little Easter eggs, clues into the inner workings of her life. July 29th Swift posts a TikTok, maybe, in Chief's merch following her show, Swift posted a TikTok of her dad riding a Segway backstage while she rides in front in a golf buggy. In the video, we get a quick glimpse of Swift wearing a black jacket covering a gold t-shirt with a red collar, the Chief's team colors. A funny little coincidence, or maybe a gift from the Chief's star player himself. August 2nd Kelsey is asked about Swift in a post-game interview the NFL Network's Andrew Siciliano directly. Ask Kelsey if he really had his phone number on a friendship bracelet to give to Swift, to which Kelsey replied, I said what I said and I meant what I said when I said it. It is what it is, I'm not going to talk about my personal life. I know what you writers want to hear, if you want to hear more about that and I'm not going to give you anything, he laughed. Siciliano continued to press Kelsey with more questions about Swift, which the athlete quickly shut down. However, Siciliano was quick to point out that Kelsey didn't actually deny anything. Siciliano reposted the video on his Instagram on September 14, with the caption, This might be worth reposting from August 2nd. At Kilotrav at Taylor Swift. September 1st Jason Kelsey brings up Swift on the New Heights podcast The Brothers Were. Discussing Travis's choice to sport some new facial hair, when Jason posed the question, Have you found out what Taylor Swift thinks of your mustache? Travis responded, Um, yeah we're not going to bring up Taylor Swift in this episode, which was met by laughter from both him and his brother. Travis is then quick to add, but something tells me she's gonna like it. Plenty of fans were also quick to notice the font on Travis's t-shirt, likening it to the font of Swift's Reputation album which is speculated to be her next re-release. Another Easter egg maybe? If you want to listen to the interaction for yourself, head to 38-29 on episode 51 of the New Heights podcast. August 7 Swift performs Dress as her surprise song If you're deep into Travlore, TikTok you would have seen the speculation surrounding Swift's choice to perform Dress as one of her surprise songs. Since the US writes their dates backwards to ours, August 7 is written as 8 7 look familiar? Well, that's because you might be recognizing 87 as Kelsey's jersey number. In the song Dress, Swift also has a line referring to a buzzkit, a hairstyle Kelsey is known to sport. Now this one is technically another loose connection, but knowing Swift anything could be a clue. August 22nd Duex Moi says nothing is going on between the pair celebrity gossip account Duex Moi responded to an Instagram Q and a question asking for an explanation regarding the relationship between Swift and Kelsey. There is no connection. Zero going on between them, they reported. September 6th Travis Kelsey films New Heights while wearing a questionable t-shirt possibly the most damning piece of evidence for Travlor. Supporters is the fact that he appeared on a recent episode of his podcast in a John Mayer t-shirt. Fans have been quick to point out that there is no way Swift would be dating someone who outwardly supports her infamous ex, but others are saying they might just be trying to throw us off the scent. September 8th Dermois reports the two went on a date together contrary to their Instagram story on August 22nd, Dermois was first to report any kind of in-person interaction between the pair. I got a message this week, this was very interesting, the anonymous voice behind the account began, Taylor Swift had made an appointment to go somewhere that she frequents, with Travis Kelsey. September 12th Kelsey documentary premieres Jason Kelsey is the subject of new Amazon Prime documentary Kelsey that premiered on September 12th. Although it doesn't have a direct correlation to the Travlor rumors, fans have been speculating that the Kelsey brothers have only been feeding into the speculation to create hype around their name ahead of the documentary's release. September 12th ET reports that a source says the two are hanging out. Entertainment Tonight reported that a source confirmed the pair are not officially dating but have been hanging out. According to the source, Travis has been into Taylor for a while and definitely has a crush on her. He is a simple guy that is very funny, charismatic, chill, and loves playing football. September 13 Pat McAfee talks about the rumors American sports analyst Pat McAfee was confident enough in the rumors to broach the subject on his self-titled ESPN talk show. He started off the segment by saying, the lady that sells out every stadium in the world ten times. The lady who plays for three and a half hours in the rain and Bill Belichick says, she's pretty tough man, said, you know what, the man of my dreams that I'm gonna marry, this isn't just date like others in the past, is an NFL guy. 
McAfee spoke about how, stoked, he is for Kelsey, saying that the rumored couple are going to, take over the world. He then issued Kelsey with a stern warning, Trav, what we're saying to you is, treat her right. You need to be a knight in shining armor, he continued. You're representing all of, football. You're the right man for the job. September 13th a source tells The Messenger the two have been quietly hanging out following the report from Entertainment Tonight, The Messenger released an article claiming a source told the publication the two had been spending some time together. Taylor and Travis have been quietly hanging out, the source told The Messenger, she saw him when she was in NYC a few weeks ago. It's unclear whether or not the source is the same person who spoke with Entertainment Tonight. September 14 Jason Kelsey is asked about the rumors in a post-game interview following the Eagles vs. Vikings Thursday night football game, Jason Kelsey sat down for a post-game interview. The interviewer asked Jason if he can comment on the rumors that his brother is dating, a certain pop star, to which Jason responded, I cannot comment on them. Ever since, catching Kelsey, everyone has been infatuated with Travis's love life, Jason added, so, I don't really know what's going on there. I know Trav is having fun and we'll see what happens with whoever he ends up with. Although he didn't confirm the rumors, he definitely wasn't denying them either. September 18th NFL announcers sneak in Taylor Swift references during Kelsey's game It was on September 18th that Swift's takeover of the NFL really started to become obvious. Commentators during the Chiefs vs. Jaguar game just couldn't help themselves but sneak in a few Taylor Swift references. Kelsey finds a blank space for the score, says one commentator following Kelsey receiving a pass in the end zone. Injured last week, he will shake it off for week two, says another, referring to a bone bruise that prevented Kelsey from playing in the first game of the season. ESPN sports reporter Adam Schefter also had plenty to say prior to the game when asked about Kelsey's recovery. Travis Kelsey, at this point in time, is trying to shake it off and get back out there, he began. He knows how much he's needed and that he's the man. It was a little bit of a cruel summer for Travis Kelsey with that knee injury, but he can see the daylight. He looks like he's ready for it, said Schefter. Rumors or not, the NFL at least seems to be having some fun with it. September 18th Kelsey comments on Rich Eisen's compilation of Taylor Swift puns sports commentator, Rich Eisen joined in on the fun, posting a compilation of his Taylor Swift puns to Instagram and TikTok with the caption, look what you made me do, at Kilotrav. What really caught people's attention was that shortly after the video was posted to Instagram, Kelsey himself took to the comment section to say, well played Rich. Well played.